to my last born of they are very aggressive. I said, Tinashe, what car do you want? She says, I want your Porsche. I'm not joking. She took the keys. It's her a, it's a car now. She took the keys. I'm not joking. Congratulations. You know, this whole thing about Tinashe and the Porsche, uh, 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 Julie, taught me faith on another level. I said, of all the cars here, this child, this child has got the audacity to say Porsche. And the Lord said to me, you need to have the faith of a little child. You can ask for the biggest things. She looked at the whole yard and she picked the flashiest car. Why are you asking God for something small? He has answered your prayer. Be specific. Be specific. Tell the Lord, Lord, I want a house, comma, in the northern suburbs, comma, preferably 5,000 square meters and above comma with a lake comma chariots and horses not mapete and rats no chariots and horses i mean we'd have these discussions Titi, you know you've got to start with the, even a mother she tried you've got to start with a small car she says no my father is rich that was their answer I said, at least, okay. I tried to bug it. I said, maybe at least the new A45. She says, yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. It's but, <laughs> daddy, the Porsche. Now, that's me, a limited man. What about when you ask God, your father? Our father, who art in heaven, silver and gold belong to him. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Tonight we are going to ask God for something huge. I don't pray for God to help me to build a church bride. No. I say I want a mall and the church happens to be inside the mall. Ah, if you want you can, God can build you as just a, a classroom which you can call church, you can call it a building, anything you like. I said mall. And the church happens to be inside the mall. How big is your God? Asking God for something bigger than what he gave you is not being ungrateful. It's a compliment to God. Ebenezer, you have brought us this far, but I know you can take us further. I'm giving you exactly one, two, three, four, five minutes to ask God for big things. And don't you dare mention Pramastov. Don't pray for Zesa. Don't pray for Zesa. Pray for a proper inventor. Because the same sentence, you know, the, Jehovah, $20 am I guess, Jehovah, inventor, inventor, 25,000, KVA, Koladaba, Kali, Kali, Shaladaba, Kali, Radaba. Because they are Christians, you want to behave like they are God's accountant. God is not running out of US dollars like the Zimbabwean economy. And he happens to be my source. And since he's my source, the whole world belongs to God. Right, I'm going to ask for big things. In other words, you've never asked for big things. Now unto him, Ephesians 3.20, who is able to do, ah, God can do it. 
exceedingly abundantly above what you can ask and what you can think so God over answers prayers gracious stretch your hands begin to talk to God I'm giving you three minutes you are going to ask God for what you have never asked for and believe that by this corporate anointing you are going to get it ask him for things that are so big that they can only be done by God things that are so huge that only the maker of the universe can do it things that are so massive that though you can't afford it your God can afford it your God will send you the resources Joe. He will send them to you because he is an awesome God. What you can't afford, your God will channel it to you. Don't ask him for a plot when you can ask for a farm. Uh, don't ask for a house when you can ask for an estate. Come on, pray for bigger things. Uh, generational wealth ask him for wealth that goes beyond you beyond you beyond you stretch your faith stretch your faith stretch your faith don't ask him for things that you can see ask him for things you cannot see don't ask him for things that you can do ask him for things you cannot do don't ask him for things you can afford ask him for things you can't afford don't ask him for things you can attain ask him for the unattainable bigger things Father, I pray for 5,000 members, 5,000 strong members. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. In the next 24 months, 5,000 strong men of David's. Oh, Kalanda Mahaya. Solid Christians who are sold out, who do great things for the kingdom, who are kingdom-minded, who are full of the word, full of grace and power. Lord, grant me 50 strong pastors to pastor the 5,000. Oh, strong men of God, men of good reports. Oh, send them our way. Father, send me sons and daughters. Help me to build sons and daughters. Great business people who oh, do amazing things in this kingdom shanda makola bahaya shola tibakola ya ala ya ndika ya duhaya shabaka la nduza sha se kabasha tu nandika la mahaya great and mighty things shola tibahaya oh your god is doing it if you believe that prayer will be answered, clap your hands for Jesus. Oh, you can do better than that, church. Oh, you can do better than that. The best is yet to come.